Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, we're here at the work site again. So I just want to give you guys an update as to what's going on. We'll take a little walk and see how things are going. So this is what we got. The stones are going down pretty good. We got the blocks up. what it's looking like I'm gonna take you guys I'm gonna take you guys down there and show you how um, how they do it so I didn't know but then it it dawned on me after that the reason they don't put the pillars first is because they don't have any way really to secure the wood I guess you could make a form, probably a square one or something, a rectangle form. I don't know. But anyway, this is how they do it. They put the wood around. So a carpenter is here. You guys will recognize him if you've been with me on this channel for any time. He does a lot of work around our house. So the only ones that we're recommending to do the work will be um, the ones that we know will do quality work so that's why you'll see the same people that come to our house they're here doing the work so we've weeded through those who don't do quality work or don't show up you know there's a lot of that that goes on too you'll be trying to do your project and get it done and the people will just decide they don't want to work for a little while. They will go and work on somebody else's project and leave yours hanging. So, um, yeah. Well, that's what we got going on here. We got our people. And we've already weeded through. We've been here a year now, just about. So we've, and we've had to do a lot of work. So we've weeded through those who um, work good. And those who show up and those who do a quality job and those who don't so here is the wood and the purpose of the wood is to form the pillars the iron rod is there so the iron rod is there inside and then the pillars will be cast here's the stream guys just beautiful Look at that scenery. It's just beautiful. You can see down this way too. Uh huh. So yep. So somebody already has the two plots here. So this will be 70 to that pillar over there. And then there will be a road. And then there's another plot available well, there's seven plots over in that area. So you guys had to ask me. So I guess I'll come over here a little bit and show you. Um, I'll show you how it is. Okay, so to this pillar, somebody has already bought. And then there'll be a road. You know, I don't know, maybe 40 foot road. And then over there is the land. So here's the land. Seven plots available over here. So you see what four plots look like. And then the two plots. So that's six. So it's one more than that. There's one plot available by this stream. There's only one left beside the stream, I think. There might be two. There might be two by this stream. And then the rest are up here. So it's very, very nice. Um, I guess I can walk a little bit further so you guys can see past these palm trees. It's just plain, like flat. See? So it's very, very nice. It's very quiet. I 
don't really want to go too far over there because of the ants. So I didn't wear my socks. We're on our way um, to the store, which I won't be able to video, guys, but I will take a lot of pictures and I'll put them together and make a video for you with the pictures. So you guys can kind of see different items. Um, and of course, I'll be doing a um, video about the prices. So we're headed out, but we wanted to stop by. I wanted to stop by the site. My husband is constantly at the site, making sure things are going on well. But as for me, um, I wanted to stop by and make you this video and show you what's going on here and show you the work. So the pillars are going on good. We're getting them in. Um, I'm, he's gonna be caught up with them pretty much because they're the ones that have to pour the cement in there. But the carpenter has to come and um, put the wood up. So I'll show you, we, there's the nails. So we had to get nails. And then, um, yeah, we can look here. So here's how it is. So there's how it is. And then he'll nail this side. He's working on the other side right now. So he'll nail this side. There you go. So that's the wood. So this is how the the iron rods look. So you buy the iron rods and then they have to bend them and they have to tie them together in this formation and you buy this binding stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's how it goes. And then we got this side of the wall going up. Very, very nice. They're working hard. Guys, it is super hot out here. It's super hot. Super, super hot. And there's the tree. What a blessing that that thing broke off and fell before the wall was put up. Because you see some of it here. They had to cut it up so they could put the wall. It was right there where the wall would have been. So we thank God that... Um, you know, it didn't fall. If it would have taken a couple more days before it fell, it would have broken the wall. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy that we didn't have an issue with the wall. It came up a, a wind storm, a rainstorm, and it was very windy. And um, that's what happened. It broke the tree. We were here, actually. I was trying to do a video, but I couldn't get one that day because the way the rain poured down. So now, the heavy part of it broke that was leaning this way. The other part of the tree, you know, if it would happen to break, it would fall that way. It wouldn't hit the wall, really. Maybe the outside leaves would, but it wouldn't do anything. So that's what's going on. Um, we still have this side of the wall to do. So they're working on this side. And then we still have the top of it here. Up here, we still have that one to do. So, still got a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, but it's going on good. You can actually see some progress here. Um, guys, I found out the purpose of leaving that high over there where the gate is is because if you wanted to fill it in which I think this is about halfway so this is one plot and another plot so in case you wanted to fill that in and kind of make it level you could do that and then the gate wouldn't be below where you'd have to um 
you know, it wouldn't be below the, the ground is what I want to say. So they put the blocks up a little bit so that the gate will be where it needed to be. If you choose to fill it in. If you choose not to fill it in, um, you could also take some couple of blocks down if you needed to. But the best thing to do would be put them in right now. And then later they can cut it out if you needed to. But I think it's, it's a good idea. So that's how they do their things. And they make sure that they leave provision for you so that you're not so that you're not um, trying to figure it out later. So it's very good. They're doing a great job. They're doing a great job. We have the workers here, the masons and the laborers. It's very, very hot, hot out today. Very, very hot. So my husband's checking with them, see what's going on. Here is where the big gate's gonna be. So she wanted it in the middle so that the uh, two plots can have, well, it's four plots, but so each side and then the back, everybody can have access right in the middle. So that's good. Yep. And then the back gate right there where um, you will be able to go out and sit back there in that nice peaceful stream area with the beautiful scenery. You could probably put some bird feeders back there, hummingbird feeders or flowers back there. You can hang it from that tree that's just across the stream. You could hang it from there and the birds, you could just sit and watch them. It's going to be beautiful. Henrietta is looking forward to her neighbors. She's really, really excited. Um, we saw her last night. She came to the house. And then also um, this morning we went on the community walk with her. So if you guys saw that, that's just a short little video I put up. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So she's excited to have neighbors really really excited so yeah so if you guys want to be a neighbor over here and we are five minute walk i timed it guys it's a five minute walk from here to our house and that's not walking fast that's just leisure walk yep so if you guys want to come and be our neighbors like i said seven plots over there seven plots available and um, you know, the thing about the plots is the price is only going up. It's going up. So it's best if you could secure it. You're close. You're right on the outskirts of Accra. So if you come out to the main road and you make a left, you go to Ansomwam, that area. It's, um... If you don't want to go into a crowd, you can go there and get pretty much everything you want. But if you go right, it goes into a crowd. So um, when you go right, you go towards a Masamen. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're located. Um, go to the website, aaimcs.com. Go to the contact us page. Scroll all the way down. If you want to contact us, all our information is there. But if you just want to see where this place is in relation to some place you know or where you are, just scroll down and use that map. Make it big and small. Zoom in and out and see um, where it's located. So my husband is uh, taking care of things over there. And I think I'm going to end it here. And just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I told you I'd take you step by step. So now this step, they're um, forming the, they're putting the forms up and the iron rods in to go ahead and pour the concrete. Yep. So that's what's going on. And they're taking this wall over here. Yep. 
So I'm going to let you guys go with that. Make your plans, guys. Make your plans. For those of you who are looking for the animals update, um, stay tuned. I will give you that. I will give you that. We're not um, shifting the channel at all from um, that type of content. It's all part of living in Ghana. And I think it's important to bring these videos to you guys so you can see how things are built. We weren't here for me to bring those videos to you with ours, but as we're overseeing projects for our clients, I'd like to bring you that information as well so you can kind of see how it is. And um, yeah, if you're interested, great. If you're just following along, thank you for coming by. All right, I'm going to let you guys go at that. And until next time, God bless you.